Sages say, Gemara Yuma, Chavches Mid Base, Yuma 28b, Manchla Vasayni, Le Pasha Yeshiva Me. All the times of our ancestors, of our forefathers, there was never separation between them and the concept of Yeshiva. Yeshiva They were in Egypt, they had Yeshiva, in Goshen. We, we know even earlier, we just said Yaakov Avinu went to Yeshiva Shem anyway. But the Mitzrayim, in Egypt, they had the Yeshiva. Hagamidba Yeshiva man. They were in the desert, in the wilderness, 40 years. They had the Yeshiva with them. Samaruf in the very old page 483. He asks, he says, he says, he notes, Roy Lehoven Atam, Shekina Chazal, a Mokim Terim, a Shem Yeshiva Stam. He wants to know, we have to understand, why did our sages use this term Yeshiva, which means sitting? Why did they just use this term to, to refer to a place of Torah study? Hari Kamash Yeshna Yoshva Vesimajrish. Yeshnam, Gam Kin Yeshve Kronis. It means sitting. You could sit in the base madras, you could sit in a place of Torah study, but you could also sit in a place that's not a place of Torah study, Yeshve Kronis. If you're going to circuses, you're going to vain, vain things, waste of time. Mashmus Lash and Yeshiva, that is not learning Torah. Learning Torah. It's the best use of your time. But why is it called sitting? Why do you say you're sitting and learning Torah? As a matter of fact, our sages say in the old days, they would stand when they learned Torah. And only as the generations deteriorated, we started to sit down. So it says, Mashmur Slosh Nishiva Seibel Shneim, in Kenmayan Mokhis, who will befarish Yesh Vimes and Medish. Just to say, a sitting place, yeshiva, could be any place you sit. It's Amnon Barra, Ki Yosh Vekronos En Remus Kano, Yis B'Shem Yeshiva Kla. Samarov Shchana Brucha says, the Rebbe Shchana Brucha says, it is clear that someone who sits in a, wasting his time, Yosh Vekronos, cannot be included not be assembled to be called yeshiva. Why? Lashon yeshiva mar al davish and nitzchi v'kaim wad. The term yeshiva means something that's eternal. It exists forever. For akater kadosh he nitzchi. Vein davil is also. Only our holy Torah is called is is eternal. Only our holy Torah is eternal. Nothing else is eternal. Valda. And uh, King David asked until in Psalm 61, I'm going to live in your tents forever. So our sages say on this verse in the Psalms, the more you have this verse in is it possible for a person to live in two worlds? King David said before God, King David said to God, Master of the universe, may it be your will that I should say something from your mouth in this world. As Rabbi Huda said, any sage that they say a teaching over in his name after he's passed away, his lips move in the grave. That's what the Talmud says. So therefore, someone not only who sits and studies Torah, 
but someone who supports the Torah in any way, do some work for the sake of a yeshiva, financially support a yeshiva, help the people in the yeshiva in any way, and all the more so to learn and to teach in the yeshiva, and to help make future generations grow in the ways of the Torah. This action that you do to support yeshiva has an eternal value, it lasts forever, it never ends. So therefore, Barak Yeshiva shall turn and make Yeshiva B'Shema Etzim. So I'm saying Yeshiva, the place is sitting meaning forever, this is only a Torah place could be called a Yeshiva. No other place can be called Yeshiva. Only a place of Torah. Kemoyesha Merzal B'Mishna Da'avis. What do our sages say? In Pirkei Yavis, Pirkei Beis, Mishnah Zayin. Marba Yeshiva, Marba Chachme. If you increase yeshiva, increase sitting, you increase yeshiva, you increase wisdom. Mavoyer, this, this means, obviously, only place that we call the yeshiva, the only place that could be called sitting, is a place where we're teaching Torah, we're spreading Torah. In the Yankov Vini, Vashvotim Akadosh, Rasul Yes, Nefrodom, Mitzrim, Legamri. When Jacob came to Goshen, he came to Egypt, in Parshas Vigash. So, the, the, uh, Jacob and his sons, they wanted to be totally separate from the Egyptians. That's why they settled in the land of Goshen. Does not mean we came to sojourn in the land? Jacob said to Pharaoh, We're sojourning with strangers in Egypt. But where do we want to sit? Please allow your servants to sit in the land of Goshen. What does it mean we're going to sit? Yeshiva. We're going to set up a yeshiva there and we'll study Torah forever. Welcome to Bratz Tarsh with Dabar Nitzchi. We're going to set up in, in Goshen a yeshiva, a place where we're spreading Torah. This is an eternal endeavor. The after Rak with Goshen, Shasham Hayim of Dabar Mufrash and Mitzrim. This is only possible in Goshen because they were separated from the Egyptians. So Shasham Rakos of Yeshiv Yisrael. That's why it says in Israel, sat Bratz Goshen in the land of Goshen. The Hayrez Shekuvi Sham Yeshiva based Talmud Kapesh Rashi Zal. There in Goshen, they set up yeshiva and the, and the place um, uh, to, to study, like Rashi says. So later on, they say in the next page, the Rebbe says, Zesham ves Yehuda shlach lefan of Yosef l'haris lefan of Goshen. In Parshas Vigash, it says that, that Joseph sent Judah ahead to teach before him to Goshen. You go to the Goshen, see, is this a place we can make a yeshiva? Zohar says, the Goshen has an eternal quality to it. Does the Targum, uh, 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 the Targum Yonason says that is to make a yeshiva there. V'nir m'zkei n'mayim rakus of yeshiv yisrael. That's what it says. And the Klal Yisrael is saying, she yeshiva l'harbatz is a ter he dover nitzchi. Achsan as almen. The yeshiva that's a place for spreading Torah, that's an eternal endeavor. It exists forever. Boilem hazeh, boilem hapa. In this world and in the next world.